Real time sync over LAN allows two or more computer on the same network to instantly and automatically synchronize files and folders without using the internet or cloud services. This method ensures that any changes made to a file on one PC such as edits, additions or deletions are immediately reflected on the other connected PC. It is ideal for home or office environments where fast private and offline file synchronization is needed. So hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to real time synchronize files over your LAN so you just need to follow me. So here is my PC1 the IP address you can see from here which is 192.168.0.148 Now I will open my browser and simply search for SyncThing.net After that go to that first link which is SyncThing.net and click on download option over here and here you will see windows intel and amd 64 bit so i'll download this one after download done click on open folder location now double click on it and i will extract this one to my desktop so as you can see it is extracted successfully on my pc1 so now what I'll do is, I'll simply open that folder and open SyncThing application. Now it will give you firewall notification. Make sure that you have click on always allow and allow. After that here is showing like allow anonymous uses reporting. So I'll select here no. So same way you need to download SyncThing for your PC too. So here is my computer 2 which is PC2 and as you can see you can see the IP address which is 192.168.0.136 So uh, what you have to do you just need to close this window now simply download the same thing same way on this computer. So after open sync thing on your both the computer what you have to do I just need to go to my first uh, PC okay so here is my PC one as you can see simply go to action over here and click on show ID and after that you need to copy paste this ID to your PC2 now as you can see here is my computer to PC2 so what you have to do you just need to click on add remote device and after that it will show you your device id over here if it is not showing you have to manually copy paste that id over here device id over here and display name i will type over here pc1 after that click on save now as you can see disconnected unused now go to your pc1 now on my pc1 as you can see i am getting a request of new device add a new device simply click on add device after that click on save okay so now i will create a new folder and share that folder with my pc2 so what i have to do is i have to click on add folder now folder name over here folder label like i will type over here technology on uh minus share minus folder okay now what you have to do you just need to click on sharing option now click on this uh, device means PC2 here is my PC2 device name so you, you just need to check that one your device 2 and after that click on save and as you can see it is showing up to date and if I'll go to my PC2 let's see so as you can see on my PC2 I am getting one request which is PC1 wants to share a folder technology minus share minus folder so add new folder i will select here add now click on save now as you can see the folder is showing up to date okay so currently i haven't updated any folder or uh, file over here so what i have to do is simply i will go to my computer go under c drive under c drive go under user 
then your username in my case it is bubbly and under bubbly i will i can see one folder is called technology minus share dot minus folder so here i will add one full uh, text document like test let's see it is showing over here or not so as you can see it is showing over here one files as you can see let's see on my pc2 is showing or not as you can see here is my pc1 and it is showing uh, the file as you can see if i'll go to here under this pc c drive user then my pc1 as you can see here is the folder and under the folder i'm getting that file easily also i will create one folder means a document from here notepad document and after that see let's see it is working or not now as you can see on my pc2 it is showing our two document now if i'll go to that folder as you can see test 2 is showing over here so before ending this video i would like to big thanks to all my channel members a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership your support truly means a lot so if you want to support the channel too then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this thanks again for watching and as always i will see you on the next one